Hello, friends. Today, we're going to think about medical research a bit. There's a YouTube channel that makes me think of this, uh, and I love the channel. It's Special Books by Special Kids, uh, and the host, Chris, is a special needs uh, teacher who left that area, and uh, now he makes videos. He goes out and interviews the families of mainly children, but sometimes adults, uh, of, of people who have special problems, special needs. Uh, many rare syndromes that there are, you know, only two or three known cases in the whole world. Most of them include uh, some sort of a mental challenge uh, as well as physical challenges. And it's actually a pretty neat thing that he does traveling around, talking to these folks and spreading awareness, letting people like me say, oh, you know what, this person with this a horrible burn on their face. Hey, they're still just a real person who I should say hi to when I see them in the grocery store. And and yeah, I know I shouldn't gawk anyway, but this is a good reminder uh, how to be nice with other people who have different challenges. So great channel. Yeah, Chris, the host is is woke, but he's a, he's a young man and and that he's been to uh, university, so that's to be expected. Uh, but he's a, he's a good guy, good heart. And the purpose of this video is to to bring to light and ask you what you think about something that he and many of the parents of children on his channel frequently ask. And their, their question is, why aren't people spending more on research? Why isn't there more medical research for my child's unique condition? And we think that there should be. And it's a shame that there isn't. And what kind of society we, do we live in when they don't do research? And, and the doctors are telling the families, you know, there are only two or three cases. So, yeah, they're not going to spend a lot on medical research. And families and, and Chris are saying this isn't fair. Uh, we should be spending more on research. So first, let's address who would be spending this. If Chris means by we, or if the family means by we, if they mean that they want to spend more of their own combined money on it, then I think that's wonderful. If they are suggesting that the collective, that, that society is forced through taxation or, or some other sort of theft, if they are forced to pay for this thing that they want, then that certainly wouldn't be a good thing, would it? Uh, it, it, it who is this we? Uh, if they're saying society should pay, then it's none of their business what society does. If they're saying that they and their friends should do more, then okay, uh, if they can persuade their friends to do so, or if they can persuade more people in society, if they can do a GoFundMe and get people to donate more money for this rare condition, great. So then the second thought is the value of a human life. And insurance companies and courts have placed a value on human life. And so, of course, those of us who care about people's health, about human humans living and, and having good lives, good, healthy, safe lives. We don't like to go into this emotional area of thinking that, well, wait a minute, you're saying that this person's life has a price tag on it? Well, yeah, actually it does. And there are different numbers for different circumstances, but between 500,000 and 1.5 million is generally what an adult's life is worth. If you ask a court or insurance company or something like that. I don't know what the child's life is, but let, let's say it's worth 2 million. If there are only five children that are expected to have this rare condition uh, over the next many, many years, five children throughout the world, and each child's life is valued at $2 million, that means that $10 million. That's the, that's the most that a solution could cost, unless people are willing to donate more uh, to make that up. And if you're best buddies with a billionaire who's willing to toss in a bunch of money, that is awesome. I applaud that billionaire. Thank you. That is wonderful. Um, if the billionaire isn't morally superior to having bought a yacht and a, a nice jet with that same billion, but that's great that they chose to do that. That's that's wonderful, and I, I love that. There is a price for human life, and to expect to have this, to put a moral onus on people who you don't even know to have money taken from them to be spent on your child who's in an unfortunate situation. And by the way, my daughter died about five years ago uh, from an illness, and I... I feel the pain. I, I wish that we could have had a, a doctor just prescribe a pill or, or do an operation and, and boom, Lauren would have been just fine. But that's not how it works. Sometimes human bodies and, and other bodies, trees and, and grass, 
they live sometimes a short time, sometimes a long time, and then they quit living. And I hate it when it happens to somebody who I, I care about, but it happens. And it's a fact, it's a fact of life. And until we reach this, uh, uh, what's it called? Singularity. If, and until that situation is reached, um, that's how things are going to be. And to advocate taking a bunch of money from a bunch of people against their will to have this thing done that you very much want to have done, that doesn't seem very nice to me. That doesn't seem like a moral or a good thing. Do you agree or am I off base here? 